Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukataya of JSA, and here at ITW 2019, joining me, my good friend, Mr. Ravi Mahalagam, SVP of Business of International Business for HGC Global Communications. Thank you for having me. Ravi, it's a pleasure having you. Yep. Um, so tell us. And we're going to sort of hit on all these hot topics that are on the minds of many here at yeah. ITW. Uh, let's talk smart cities, SDN, blockchain, and what HGC's role is in all of these emerging technologies. Well, I think um, I would like to start off by saying that, um, you know, everything these days is about digitization and softwareization. So we are in the midway of our transformation of our company, and that has enabled us to move on into new areas and space that is now being, you know, uh, in demand. So, for example, uh, first and foremost, I think is our marketplace initiative that we have done. So, what we have enabled is in Asia today, we are able to for a customer to come to our portal and be able to get connectivity to major data centers across Asia, in Hong Kong, and connect to an internet access. Uh, provider all in one portal so I think this is allows a customer experience to be like he goes to a Facebook website he remains there because he can do Libra currency he can do uh, connecting to his friends so in one marketplace you can do a lot of host of services so this is the, our beginning point it's an ambitious project on our side that has propelled us to look further into other areas of uh, automation. So one that we are uh, championing at the moment is the blockchain initiative, which is an initiative that we're looking at solely for the purpose of how we can improve our productivity and speed up, especially in the area of settlement uh, in, at the back end. So business has now grown exponentially. But you also need the speed. The speed has to be speeded up. So blockchain and the trusted smart ledger technology, we believe, is one of the areas that can help improve our operation, not only within our own organization uh, from one section to another, but also you know, cross-function to other uh, companies as well. So if more companies adapt smart ledger technology on a, on a, on a similar platform, you then be able to uh, uh, do settlement at a far much more quicker pace. So imagine you would have an end-to-end -end experience for your clients. The client orders a service, he prov uh, provisions it, uh, quickly by by himself and then he gets a hot billing that says that okay you've ordered this you can do instead of per month billing you think you can do per week or per day billing that is what you know our vision is yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's also talked about smart city yes. so Hong Kong is a leading uh, uh, market in uh, in Asia which is in the forefront uh, you know Hong Kong needs a uh, uh, digitization and smart city is one of the areas that they're looking at hey hi so this is a, an area that they are uh, prop uh, propelling and we have a lead role in this space uh, we are doing POC with the Hong Kong government uh, especially on smart lampposts oh, so yeah so this uh, lamppost uh, has multi functions and it allows uh, uh, traffic management weather control uh, it also becomes a, an asset for us to look at placement of uh, microcells for 5G. So these are an area, new areas that we are looking at developing. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes, uh, Hong Kong has a special place in, in, in the world. Uh, as, a, as a leader in, uh, in these uh, new technology deployments. And so your work is, is really being viewed uh, not just on a, a national front, but on a global front for sure. We were just talking about this in, in New York, actually, uh -huh. at, at one of our events. So uh, yeah, very, very exciting to hear that. Thank you. Um, and also there's a new trend happening where OTTs are, are coming uh, more into our marketplace, really um, really leading uh, an expansion role. Uh, what is HGC's role, challenges and opportunities as, as you guys go ahead and address uh, OTT needs? So in the OTT space, we are one of the leaders uh, to assist OTTs to expand globally. So we've done a pretty decent job and we serve these uh, OTTs, especially from Asia, 
to more than 20, 30 cities around the world. Uh, we did a pretty decent job on that. And basically, this has been uh, providing them with customized infrastructure as a service solution, which is a combination of a several uh, components, hosting, uh, network, uh, local eyeball, and bringing it all together and providing it in a, in a, in a recipe that, you know, that meets their requirement. But they are now also looking, moving up the chain, especially in, they, when they expand, some of them are in the cloud services, mm -hmm. so they are looking at managed uh, service as a step up. Mm -hmm. So they need eyes uh, and people on the ground to help them to do this management. So we can uplift our capability to play that role. Say, for example, in, in Sao Paulo, they have set up a cloud, probably because of their resource requirement, they could not uh, have people, pe foot soldiers on the ground. It could be our team that could help uh, them in their managed services. So I think uh, the evolution of infra moving into platform uh, is where I think uh, we can aspire to go in the, nec uh, in the next stage. I love that. You're basically an extension of their network infrastructure team in-house. I, I love that. Correct. Correct. Rightly said. Are you, in, are you from telco? No. <laughs> <laughs> Focused only on telecom and tech. Okay. So, um, what, what, when we skip ahead in the calendar year, mm -hmm. where, where would you think HGC will be in a year from now? So, I'm, my focus for our company, uh, especially my international business organization, is to fully transform our company to become a fully digitized uh, user experience for our clients, which is the sector of the carriers and also the corporate customers of ours. And I hope that one year down the road, uh, a customer would be able to enjoy our services uh, in our marketplace by themselves mm -hmm. and then receive the bill and um, the what we would be playing at the back end is the analytics improving the customer experience and continuously applying devops uh, in improving our uh, services to them so my hope is one year down the road when we meet again i should be able to tell you that we are fully transformed and i could say proudly that international business of hgc is a digital company yeah. for the carriers well, and customers. I love that. I love that vision and you guys are certainly well on your way you. to, uh, to realizing that. So where can our viewers go to learn more about HGC? Well, uh, obviously you could go click uh, HGC and you'll find about a few hundred thousand <laughs> <laughs> search uh, results. But go to hgc.com.hk, you'll find us there. hgc.com.hk Thank you so much, Ravi, for joining us. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV here at ITW. Happy networking.